DSD Hacking 101. Hi, this is Pox. Welcome to PSP Hacking 101. I'm um, sorry Raggable's not here with me, but I'm out of town right now. But there's some amazing news that just came out. There is a 2.5 slash 2.6 firmware downgrader. So I feel, felt that we really needed to get something out there to show this that it works. And it's just fantastic. This means um, that there's kernel mode access of a full 1.5 PSP for anybody that wants it right now. Uh, so let's get started with this. There's a few things you need to know before you get started. You want to make sure that your PSP is capable of this downgrade. Basically you need to have a PSP that wasn't originally a 2.6, that it had been upgraded to either 2.5 or 2.6. One thing that you need to check is to make sure it's not a TA082. And to do that you just go ahead and open up the UMD drive you check on the PVC, make sure that there's no writing on there. So if it's blank inside of there, you don't see any writing on the little green board back there, then that means you're good to go. But if you do see writing and it says IC1003, that means don't do this. Unfortunately, that also means no mod chip for you. The first generation of the mod chip also will not work with your PSP. Um, also, this is still in beta stages, so that means it could potentially brick your PSP. And if you don't follow these steps exactly, I mean, even though you watch this video, you also want to go through the README, you want to check on our forms, every other form out there on the PSP and PSP updates and everywhere, you know, <laughs> before you risk bricking your PSP. Now with that in mind, let's go ahead and get started with this. You'll need two PSPs. You're going to need a 1.5 PSP because the files necessary to downgrade to a 1.5 are on the 1.5. Okay, you're going to need a few files. There's a 1.5 helper, and it's just a normal executable uh, eboot that you load on your 1.5. You copy that over into your PSP games folder, these, these, these two files. And you're also going to need the Sony 1.5 upgrader eboot. So you need to make a directory in your PSP games directory called update, all capital letters, update. Then you're going to throw that Sony PSP 1.5 upgrader eboot into there. Once you've got all that on your memory stick for your 1.5 PSP, you're going to go ahead and launch that 1.5 helper application. That's going to run for a while, a long time, <laughs> and it'll show some, some feedback on the display showing that it's copying all the necessary files that you need from that 1.5 PSP and that Sony uh, 1.5 updater file, it's going to rip all the files out of there and put them into a folder called downdater on the root of your memory stick. Then you're done with 1.5 PSP. You can give it back to your friend or wherever you got it from. Then you're going to need to get whatever PSP you're downgrading, either a 2.5 or a 2.6, and you're going to need to put some files on the memory stick for that. Uh, all the files that we just ripped off the 1.5, so copy over that folder to the root of the memory stick on the PSP you're downgrading. Then you're also going to need to actually put the down data test, we're using the beta right now, which is 05, on the PSP game directory. So just copy that whole folder in there, there should be one eboot in there. And then put in your copy of GTA, and you're also going to have to run the eLoader. So if you've been using eLoader to run Homebrew, if not, you'll have to refer back to um, some of the older episodes. <laughs> so, after all, so after all that, then you've got to run the eLoader. So go ahead and start up GTA. Then you get into eLoader, and you're brave. Go ahead and start the actual downdater. Then it's going to start flashing on the memory stick, showing all the process that it's reading from the memory stick, and it's actually reflashing the firmware on your PSP. Go ahead and wait for it. Um, once it gets done flashing, you, it, it may just sit there. And you want to leave it there for a whole other minute afterwards. Uh, in our case, it actually just rebooted automatically. 
and then it'll act like you've got a brand new 1.5 PSP. It'll ask you to reset your time and date and the name of your PSP and all your settings. So you can go ahead and do that. Uh, and you may or may not have a UMD load error. Uh, we did. So we had to go ahead and take out the battery and leave it for five minutes. Then just to make sure all the power is totally gone from the PSP, put in the battery, turn it back on, UMD works just fine, and it'll tell you if you're using GTA, you need to upgrade to 2.0 because now you have a 1.5 PSP. So it works. Go ahead and load up whatever homebrew you want to. Have fun with your newly downgraded 1.5 PSP. Show it to all your friends. Have them do it. It's, it's great news. It's fantastic that this is finally here. Um, and we'll be back with a video on how to install the mod chip next week if everything goes according to plan. I'm Pox. Have fun. Don't break your PSP. If you did, or you do, don't blame us. We told you it could happen, but have fun with your new 1.5 PSP. This has been a Two Smart Guys production.